I don't know why you don't take me downtown anymore. Lady Antebellum may have gone downtown, but the leadoff single from their fourth album has taken the trio up the charts, landing them their seventh number one hit. Shooting the video for downtown was a blast. Hillary's doing her own stunts. Me and Charles were stopping traffic <laughs> in cop outfits, so it was a good time. While the song has been the group's fastest charting single to date, the three tell us it's just a taste of what's to come on the full project. We keep saying we kind of feel like we've got back to the core of us as a group. We try to just focus on the songs and not worry like, okay, is this some, is this going to be a hit? Is this going to be marketable? And I think when we got out of our own way, um, we feel like we've made probably one of our most favorite records. Fans were ready for something a little different from us, and uh, and that's what, what we have on this record. Pick up your copy of Golden Everywhere. Music is sold on May 7th. And tune in here on Headline Country later that week when we'll sit down with the group and find out what really happened downtown. After six years of performing the opening to Sunday Night Football, Faith Hill is calling it quits. The singer announced the news on her Facebook page, posting, quote, amazing to have been a part of Sunday Night Football, an honor. I've just let everyone there know it's time to let someone else rock the open. Difficult decision, kind of emotional. Love all of you guys at Sunday Night Football. I'll be watching. Moments later, SNF executive producer Fred Godelli tweeted his response saying, quote, Great love and appreciation to Faith Hill for six great years of rocking the Sunday Night Football Open. No word on who will replace her. The Yacht Club. Well, Craig Morgan is trading in his Redneck Yacht Club for a trip to the Arctic Circle. The singer recently traveled to Sweden to participate in a 200-mile dog sled excursion. Hence the beard. That's why I grew the beard. I need some additional insulation. I'm headed to uh, Sweden for a 300-kilometer dog sled race called the Fijal Polar. I'm really excited about it. I'm uh, on the American team representing our country. Uh, there's about eight countries involved. Uh, so it's, it's going to be an exciting trip. The expedition will travel from the Norwegian shores of the Arctic Ocean in Norway to the mountaintops of Sweden. Morgan will learn how to drive and care for his own team of dogs and to pitch a tent and survive in the snow in sub-zero temperatures. Average temperature is about 20 to 70 below. Uh, so uh, it's going to be cold, but you know, I'm, I'm in good shape. I've been working out. I think that's the key, being in great shape uh, is, or as good a shape as you can be in. Uh, and then just try to stay warm. Got a great fire starting kit just in case. <laughs> Let's get this thing started. It's my kind of party. The world's best-selling multi-artist album series, Now That's What I Call Music, has its sights set on country. The compilation brand has just announced plans to release a special country version just in time for summer. Now That's What I Call a Country Party will hit stores and digital retailers May 7th and feature 18 major chart hits guaranteed to keep your party going. Red Solo Cup, I fill you up, let's have a party. From Toby Keith's Red Solo Cup to Luke Bryan's Country Girl, Shake It For Me, and Kenny Chesney's Beer in Mexico, the collection highlights popular songs from Joe Nichols, Jared Neiman, Big and Rich, Alan Jackson, Rascal Flatts, Billy Currington, and on and on. Visit HeadlineCountry.net for a complete track listing. And while you're there, tell us which country song is your go-to party anthem and why. A barefoot blue jean night. Legendary supergroup Alabama is celebrating their 40th anniversary by kicking off their highly anticipated Back to the Bowery Tour. The trek, which launched April 5th in Myrtle Beach, is the band's first extensive run since 2012. With a handful of dates already confirmed over the next seven months, the group says they plan to add even more tour stops this year in between recording a new album. 